Okay, so everything's a little bit up in the air this week and I'm recording on this laptop here. So forgive me for that, but I wanted to give a comment on ideology and what I feel about the whole business of ideology. And what spurs this on was a comment uh, on a recent video of mine where somebody was talking about people's ideologies and it viewing it in a kind of negative light as if holding an ideology is a bad thing and then somebody said well actually I don't know why you're accusing Noel particularly of, of, uh, of being ideological because he must be one of the least ideological people out there as if that was necessarily a good thing and I think these two people in some ways were talking past one another here um, because I think that looking at idea, uh, ideology, and by an ideology, I think generally we're talking about something like a system of values, whether it's moral values or whether it's political values, but a system of values and their application into the real world. I think looking at an ideology in terms of it being a good thing or a bad thing is akin in many ways, and I think this is probably quite a good analogy, to looking at a cart and a horse as being intrinsically good or bad, rather than the order of whether you put the cart in front of the horse or the horse in front of the cart. And so it is with ideology, because I think we can view somebody's ideological positions in two different ways. On the one hand, we can view an ideology as effectively a shorthand for the conclusions a person has reached, having taken a look at the world and how the world functions and taking a practical approach of what is possible and what isn't possible in terms of the world and saying well this is perhaps something that will work that will make the world a better place contrasting that with a with having a rigid an ideology is effectively a rigid pre-commitment to certain types of solution that you've decided uh, that on philosophical grounds, this is the way things have to be, that everything else is unethical or immoral for one reason or another, and then shoehorning that ideological commitment in to the world around you, seemingly whether it makes sense or not, whether it works or not. You, you've just made that decision and that's what you're going to go with. And I think that that is something that you see across the socio-political spectrum. You certainly see it from people on the left with regard to social and progressive issues and as well with regard to economic issues. You see it with people on the right with regard to economic issues. You see it with regard to religious people in terms of what it says in their scripture and making the world fit uh, their scriptural pre-commitments. One of the great examples of this, of course, is people that are very, very much on board with the free market and believe that the free market is the answer to everything and maybe taxation is theft and that there's no justification for it but it doesn't matter because the free market will do everything including mending the roads that you live on which is great if you live in the middle of a big city in a prosperous area but of course if you live out in the countryside at the end of uh, a road that maybe only services a couple of farmers or if you live in a road uh, that the only other road at the end of it is shit street where everybody's unemployed. There is no way that that is economical to repair, you know, without central funding, without it being funded uh, from something that doesn't have to make sense uh, on an economic basis, but is making sense on a humanitarian, on a social, on a societal basis, on the grounds that everybody needs a fucking road to be able to get to their front door. Uh, but nevertheless, people who have a commitment to these things will fashion some kind of argument after the fact. Whatever you bring to the table, they will try and fit it in to their ideological pre-commitment. And I think that is the worst example of what an ideology could be. And that in some ways gives ideology a bad name, I think. And the real tragedy about that, actually, is when you look at these different ideological posi uh, positions that span the spectrums, don't they, from sort of socialist positions to, to, to capitalist free market positions, from very progressive social positions to uh, much more uh, conservative social positions. There are often spheres uh, uh, and examples where there is a lot of good to be found in these different positions and yet when you take them from this kind of highly ideological pre-commitment position all that you actually do is a disservice to the ideology uh, that you claim to be standing behind because rather than showing it in the best possible light rather than showing the successes of it 
you're actually showing the failures. You're actually, what you're doing is you're showing it up by trying to apply it in situations where clearly the complexities of the real world are such that you need a more pragmatic approach. You need to set it to one side and maybe find another model or another way for that particular scenario. Okay, that's pretty much all that I wanted to say about ideology. And I really do think that people are sometimes talking past one another when discussing these two aspects of ideology. Ideology is something that reflects uh, your considered view of the world and ideology is some kind of rigid pre-commitment that, that, that come hell or high water that is that is what the world is going to have to conform to if you were to get your way okay thank you for watching bye for now